So in the previous video, we talked about crawlers. But don't forget, search engines are the best crawlers. They work almost exactly as we want them to. And they have a huge amount of data about the publicly exposed web applications. See, when a search engine bot crawls a web application, it indexes the pages according to some rules that are associated to the page and its content. They can index almost anything within a website, including sensitive information. So they have a complex working style. And they always update the way they crawl. But at the end of the day, they provide us with so much good information uh, from everything, from error messages to vulnerable files and servers. Okay, so now go to Kali and open up your browser. And for the majority of our generation, Google is one of the first search engines that comes to mind. But it is by no means alone. There are several other search engines, such as Bing and Yandex and Yahoo. And of course, anybody could go on. But we're going to conduct the Google queries to get more. So for the average person, Google is just a search engine used to find text, images, videos. It's even a spell checker for some. However, for pen testers, Google is a very useful hacking tool. So go ahead, type google.com. And you can run Google search queries from this interface. But besides this simple interface, Google has an advanced search functionality. So go to Settings and click on Advanced Search. And you can use this page for more detailed queries. Also, Google Search Engine has its own built-in query language. And I'll give you a list of these search operators. So you can also use these search operators to get detailed results. So in order to benefit from Google more, using these operators can come in quite handily. So let's run some searches with some of these advanced operators, okay? So let's find New York Times subdomains. Type site colon nytimes.com dash site colon www.nytimes.com. So the site command will bring the results that contain only nytimes.com. And the dash before the second site will exclude the results that contain www.nytimes.com. Okay? So look at the number of results. Now, if you add and in URL colon login, it will bring us the results that contain login pages. But be careful. Google doesn't necessarily want us using the advanced search for our purposes. Google will start blocking your connection if you connect from a single static IP. Okay, so it will ask for CAPTCHA challenges to prevent automated queries. So I'm going to fill in this CAPTCHA box. It's always a favorite thing to do. Now look at the number of results. It decreases a lot. Now add or in URL colon sign up to bring sign up pages. So this time the number of results are increased. So you can also look for a vulnerable version of any of the web technologies. So type in URL colon php my admin slash index dot php and in title colon php my admin two dot one one. And look at the results. It's going to bring up all of the pages that are version two dot one one of PHP my admin. So also we can perform the same search for SQLite Manager. Just type in title colon SQLite Manager in URL colon slash SQLite slash in text colon welcome to. And look at that. Here are the SQLite Manager pages. Now there are a few pages listed. But Google does not only index the HTTP-based servers, it also indexes OpenFTP servers. So if you type in title 
colon index of in Earl colon FTP open FTP servers will be listed. Now I know you might say ah, this is not enough. Well, you can go with the prepared queries that are performed by the hacking community. <laughs> Why didn't I say that before? Because these queries are stored in the Google Hacking Database. Bet you didn't know it existed. Now you do. So open this page. GHDB is also served by Offensive Security. So here, every query is called Google Dork. So you can apply any dork to your target application and server. Just click on any dork. And from here, just click to see the Google search results. And now you can analyze the results. So imagine that a Drupal vulnerability is announced. You can create a Google query to identify the servers or applications that have this vulnerability. Or <laughs> you can check Google Hacking Database to find it and use it. So now the world is up to your imagination and you.